All right, they want us to solve this equation and they want us to solve it over the complex numbers, which means even if there's an imaginary solution, meaning the square root of a negative number, they want us to write it out. So there will be at least one solution, most likely two solutions. Okay. If there's an imaginary solution, there's definitely two solutions. So the way we're going to solve this is use the quadratic formula. It's the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16 minus 4ac all over 2a. And now we're going to simplify that. That equals 4 plus or minus the square root of, and that's 8 times 7, which is 56. So it's negative 40 all over 4. Yeah. All right. So they want us to simplify this and write it in terms of i. They want us to write it like this. Yeah. So in order to do that, we're going to have to simplify this right here. So let's do that on the side. The square root of negative 40. Well, first of all, that's the same as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 40. Yeah. And the square root of negative 1 is just i. Yeah. So it's i times the square root of 40. Well, 40 break 40 up and you know that it's 4 and 10. Right. 4 is a perfect square. You right. could have broken it up other ways, but you basically are looking for perfect square factors. Yeah. So since 4 is a perfect square, that's really 2, I'm going to write that in front of the i, 2i root 10. Or actually, let's write it like this, because we're going to write it in that form. It's really 2 root 10 I. Just make sure that you've got a little space right here okay. so that you don't think the I is underneath the radical because that would be a big old mess if it was. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So now let's rewrite this. So that's 4 plus or minus 2 root 10 times I all over 4. Well, notice how they, I'm writing it like that. Mm -hmm. Let's distribute that 4 into both of those terms. It just makes it look the way that they want us to have it. So that equals 4 over 4. What's 4 over 4? 1. 1 plus or minus, what's 2 divided by 4? 2. It's, or 1 half. It's 1 half, that's right. So it's, so it's 1 plus um, root 10. The root stays on top yeah. over 2, right? Those cancel times i. Yeah, I don't think that we do that. And that's how we would write. That, that, this is the most proper way to write this problem. Your teacher might be okay with you just writing it like this, 4 plus or minus. They might even be okay with you writing root 40i over 4. They might be okay with that. But it's technically, you're going to want to write it like this eventually. You're going to want to write it in what's called standard complex form. Okay. A, plus B, A plus or minus bi. Oh, I forgot the minus. Because remember, there's two solutions. Yeah. There's one plus root 10 over 2i, and there's one minus root 10 over 2i. Okay.